A lot of changes have come with this week's weekly reset, and we're going to go over them right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, for those who don't know, update 1.1.2 is live. And if you guys don't know what the update actually entails, then I will put an annotation on the screen right now. That way you guys can check out a video that I did earlier this week about it, or you guys can read the entire patch notes in the description. Also, with update 1.1.2, the Iron Banner is back. So if you guys definitely like Crucible, then go ahead and participate in that. There are new weapons, as well as a Sparrow, Ghost, and Emblem. So make sure you go ahead and check out Lord Saladin. So, this is the weekly reset, so like always, we will start with the Milestones. So, starting off for the Milestones, we have the Nightfall. This week's Nightfall is Savathun Song. Modifiers on this are Momentum, which Health and Shield Regeneration stop when you're not moving, sprint to speed up regeneration, and then we have time warp anomalies, which strange anomalies have been detected in the area, destroy them to release temporal energy and extend the mission timer. Then we have clan XP, which you earn clan XP in strikes, raids, the crucible, and world activities. Then we do have the daily iron banner, which you need to complete three challenges in the iron banner. We have Leviathan, which you need to complete the uh, Leviathan raid or the eater of worlds raid lair. Then we have Call to Arms, which you need to participate in Crucible. Flashpoint this week is on Nessus. If you do the Heroic versions, you can get that completed a lot faster. Then we also have Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three Heroic Strikes. And then we have Iron Banner Season 2, which go to the Iron Banner grounds at the tower and talk to Lord Saladin. Before we actually go check in with Lord Saladin, we're going to see what Tess Everest has at Eververse for this week. As for our shaders, we have Huddle Up. as well as Taunt Dance. For vehicles, we have the SV-112 Predator. And this is an actual exotic. It's a nice looking exotic sparrow. For shipped, we have the Antonio. Then we have the under construction ornament for the tractor cannon. As well as the reef in ruins ornament for the Telesto. This week's armor is for Gauntlets, and we have the Omega Mechanos Grasps. For our wonderful uh, ghost this week, it's an exotic ghost called the Fast Lane Shell. Actually looks pretty cool. Next, we have your solar effects for the transmat effect. Shaders, we have Arctic Pearl. And then we also have Monochromatic. Then we have your Fire Team Medallion, as well as your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, as well as the Gleaming Boon of the Crucible. Now, if I am correct, the price on these has actually gone down, so yeah, they're actually a little bit more affordable. Just a little bit. So, we are actually at Lord Saladin, and we're going to see what he has for the Iron Banner for this week. So, these are the rewards for the Iron Banner, and you can actually get these by claiming a specific amount of reward engrams. So, you need to level up your Iron Banner. Here are your ornaments that you need to unlock. And as for your weapons, we have the Criminal's Dagger, which is a hand cannon. 
It has aggressive frame, true sight HCS, crossfire HCS, steady hand HCS, armor piercing rounds, drop mag, as well as open shot. Then we have the Frost Myers Hex, which is a scout rifle. This has Vice Rapid Fire, Corkscrew Rifling, Arrowhead Brake, Fluted Barrel, High Caliber Rounds, Extended Mag, as well as Dragonfly. And then last but not least, we have Gungnora's Axe, which is a shotgun. This has Precision Frame, Fluted Barrel, Rifle Barrel, Barrel Shroud, Accurized Rounds, Assault Mag, as well as Opening Shot. Yes, these are pretty much reskins. Benedict99 actually has a couple things going on with him. We can now purchase raid gear. And obviously we need to meet the requirements of the actual gear in order to pick it up. Some of it is prestige gear, some of it is not. And this will actually change during the week. In order to get the prestige gear though, you need, 100%, you need to have done the prestige level of the raid or raid lair. And here are the wonderful ornaments. Weapon for this week, however, is the Mob Justice. Don't forget to go to Cade 6 in order to get those treasure maps for this week. Treasure maps for this week are on Nessus, so go ahead and pick those up. And if you guys enjoy this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.